Okay, today I already showed you guys just a few little steps of getting pieces together, but we're going to show you most of the steps today to put together this hand dredge. No, not dredge, not dredge. This crevice sucker. Um, you already grabbed one of these adapters, two inch to inch and a half. You've already grabbed the, grabbed the insert for it. That's an inch and a half to a three quarter inch thread. You've taken the three quarter inch riser, cut it in half, cut it in half so it's half the length, and threaded it in. Those are pretty simple steps. Now we need to start uh, making the tube that goes up there. So you're gonna take a piece of this two inch ABS, black ABS tube, put it in a vise, measure out 20 inches. Come on, you. 20 inches. Close it in the vise. doesn't have to be exact. Anything close to 20 is fine. I'm just going to use one of these hand saws here. Please, when you're cutting with this hand saw, when you get all the way through, stop before the hand saw falls and hits the metal vise or the metal table or the other edge or anything. We don't want to dull the blade. The teeth don't like hitting metal. Don't, don't hit the metal. What about that? That's fine. That doesn't hurt it. Rubbing it against this be bench, that would hurt it. Okay, take a file. File off all this, the burrs left from the sawing. Get the inside as well. Get all those burrs off there. That is the next piece on here. You will need a cap. I lost the cap I had here. You will need one of those caps. We will eventually drill a hole in it, but you'll need one of those for now. Uh, it's in the same box you got the other stuff from. <laughs> when the time comes, you can do that. Okay, you'll need a cap to go on the other end. Now start making the handle piece here. The plunger goes on the end of. You will need a piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe that is exactly 22 inches long. Measure out a piece of this, 22 inches. Again, doesn't have to be exact. Anything close, anything within an inch of that will work. Measure out 22 inches. You don't cut this with a saw. We've got a special tool for cutting PVC pipe. Just like that. Twist it back and forth a couple times. Cuts right through. Need a piece? Need that for a Terrible end on it. Let's trim this end off. Okay, piece 22 inches long. You will need two pieces that are about an inch long. They don't, sorry about that. They don't have to be long at all. Two little pieces, maybe an inch to an inch and a half long. Just like that. And those are the two little pieces that go in there and hold that together. A T joint and two caps. T, T joint and two caps will be in this box here. No, that's your caps. Those are your big caps. Freeze. Small stuff. Freeze. In this box, hold tight, hold tight. You can help yourself to them. T-joint. Couple of caps. We will glue the joints that we need to glue a little later so this thing stays together nicely. You'll actually need one, one more cap. It goes on that end. Next day, we're going to really spend most of the day working on getting the plunger working just right and drilling the hole in the cap so it all fits together. If today, by the end of the class, you can have the handle done and the tube, the reducer, the insert, and this piece cut off and filed, 
They'll put us in good position to get these things done for next day because we need them for the following day's trip. We're kind of rushing through this because we are, our time frame is a little tight. A little tight to get this all done before we go out on that trip. You guys have got 20 minutes before we're done here. Let's get that done. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to drill this cap out. First what I did is I just, uh, just by eye, I, I put a mark where center is. It doesn't have to be very accurate, so that's close enough. So you're gonna drill a pilot hole, just something small to start with. Anything between 1 8 and a quarter inch will work. The pilot hole is just because this uh, drill bit right here uh, has a hard time centering itself to start with. But once it's started, it goes easily. So I'm just going to use a step drill bit to drill down through. until it will take that three-quarter inch PVC pipe just perfectly. To get it just right, you might want to flip it over and drill from the inside at one point too, because the step drill bit does make a hole bigger on one side than the other. This will make it more even. And you're going to get just big enough to take that piece of pipe. <laughs> Not big enough yet, so we'll go a bit bigger to make it take the pipe nicely. Just keep checking with the pipe until the pipe slides too easily. Okay, for the plunger, we need a piece of this plastic wood. This is just fake wood that you can buy from like Home Depot. And we use the plastic wood because it can be in water constantly and we don't want to absorb any water. We're using an inch and three quarter hole saw, which makes a plunger just smaller than the two inch pipe we're using. Leather will take up the rest of the distance. This plastic heats up very fast, so we have to drill a little bit and stop. Drill a bit more and stop. And just keep doing that, otherwise it starts to melt its way through. You'll know that you're through when you lift up the pull saw and you find that the piece is missing because it'll be stuck up inside the hole saw. Oh, it's missing. There we go. Turn that off. Okay. To get it out of there, you're going to just use a screwdriver, pry it from a few different spots going. and it'll pop itself out. There we go. A little bit of filing to get off to all those burrs and the plunger is ready to put the leather diaphragms in place. Okay, for the leather pl plunger here, you're gonna take a piece of leather big enough to cover that two inch uh, pipe there. You're gonna take that piece of leather, put it over the end, and just with your finger, you're gonna rub all the way around nice and hard. Really hard. <laughs> when you take that off, you'll be able to see the imprint left behind from that plunger, from that pipe. Quickly, before it goes away, take a pencil and draw on there so that you can see where it is for cutting. Just have to have enough of a line that you can see where that was and then you can take the scissors in there and cut it out. Very important that this is accurate, very accurate. This is the most important piece of the whole machine. If the leather diaphragm doesn't seal, the whole dredge will not work. Nice accurate circle that fits just perfectly in there, just perfectly. A little bit big is better than a little bit small because it has to seal all the way around. We will mark where the center is and using a quarter inch leather punch, 
punch a hole in the center. Okay, to assemble the plunger, we're first going to need to take a quarter inch drill bit and drill through one of these three quarter inch caps. I already did that. Nice and centered. We have our two pieces of leather now both with a hole punched in the center, quarter inch hole. We have our piece of plastic, the plunger here with that same quarter inch hole. We stack the leather, one piece on either side, just like that. Bolt. Goes through. If you have a nice fender washer, big washer, that it helps, but I don't have one, so we don't need it. So, leather, plastic leather, the cap goes on the top, just like that. A lock washer to make sure this doesn't get loose on us while we're using it. Oops. A nut. Let's see if we do that. Third time lucky. A nut on there. We can hold the head of the bolt in a vise. Nice finger. Spin that down. If you have a long enough socket to get on it, a socket works better than a wrench, but I don't have one today, so we'll just use a wrench here. Spin her down. And this is quite crucial that you get this one nice and tight. Because you don't want that coming off inside the machine when you start using it. There's the plunger ready to go. Okay, for the final assembly of these, we uh, need to take our plunger that we just assembled, put it on the handle, handle top on the top here. This joint here needs to get glued eventually, but don't glue it until you know the plunger is working well. Because one thing we might have to do to make the plunger work better is put a second layer of leather top and bottom. But you have to be able to take the bolt in and off if you have to do that. So make sure the plunger is working well before you put a dot of super glue to glue that on. The handle can get glued on at any time. One dot of super glue is all you need. One dot. And that way, if we ever have to break the joint, we can just hit it with a hammer quickly, and it breaks the joint right off. The nozzle that we made earlier can be pushed on there. And again, one dot of super glue on the reducer only. Keeps that reducer in place. We have to be able to take the other joints apart. And again, if we ever want to take that reducer off, one good wrap with a hammer will break that super glue dot. Oops. Yeah. The cap. Oh, good thing I didn't glue it. Good thing I didn't glue it. Because that cap does have to go on before you glue that joint. Because that has to stay on there. When I know the plunger works, one dot there, everything is together solid. Put that in, put the cap on tight, and the whole dredge is complete. Ready? Okay, to test the plunger, you need to actually get that uh, plunger in there wet. So suck up a little bit of water, make sure it's nice and wet all the way around. Make sure it's wet. It won't seal well until it is wet. Now what I have here is I've got a bad plunger inside and a good plunger here. I'm going to interchange them to show you the difference. Okay, to test it, you're going to make sure it sucks and blows. Water. There's your first test. Your second test is to put your thumb over the end and pull back and see how easy it pulls. That pulls too easily. And then push. That push is way too easy. So I have a little bit of suction, but very little pushing power. Very little. That plunger needs to be redone. Another thing that a bad plunger will do is if you're sucking up and blowing and sucking and blowing, a lot of water is getting past the plunger. And at one point when you suck up too far, it shoots water out the top. Did you get that? Sucking the water out the top? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, suck water out the top. So that's a bad plunger. Change that plunger out for a good one here to show you the difference. Here's a good plunger. Okay, it sucks and shoots nicely. If you pull all the way back, nothing shoots out the top. Nothing's coming out there. Yeah, I dropped mine in so you can tell this one's not glued yet. Okay, to check the suction, you, you plug, plug it off, pull, 
I basically can't pull it. It's a perfect seal. Pushing. I can push a little bit, but not very much. It's sealed inside there. That's a good plunger. Oh, I can't take it apart. Anyhow. Once it's glued, that won't pop off. That's good.